All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CADCAST episode number 648. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who also hasn't won a game, won a game of Fall Guys, Wombat. I have not, but I am wearing my lovely new Bordeaux, Louisiana t-shirt. Shipwreck, what game is this from? That is from Mafia 3. Nice. <laughs> I, I, That is a fine fake video game t-shirt that's a good one yeah this is one of the better ones yeah i uh, i was uh i dug that one out this mo- uh this morning no this evening too many uh, t-shirts yeah uh, actually i'm getting to the bottom what do you start then like, uh what, maybe, what happens when you get to the bottom of the t-shirt i have some loot shirts that i can wear maybe those are kind of fun then maybe you know we just move on to fun shirts i can wear zoo shirts i have a lot of zoo shirts too many shirts why do you have a lot of zoo shirts? Because when you renew your zoo membership, they give you a t-shirt. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes that makes sense to me. I thought you were just going to the zoo and purchasing zoo t-shirts. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> honestly, one zoo t-shirt is enough. Right. But... Like I was like, if you're gonna go to the zoo and get a zoo t-shirt, like that's understandable. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, I like that that fake teenage ninja turtles shirt that they made the zoo. Yeah. The zoo. Um, Can't you retire some of the zoo t-shirts when you, you know, you know what? They're oddly high, not oddly. (laughs) They happen to be very high quality (laughs) t-shirts and they're really comfortable. They need to get you one of their commercials. Yeah. Because it costs like $40 to go to the Bronx Zoo. So I know I renewed my membership this week. I'm going on Tuesday. My first quarantine era zoo visit. Get the t-shirt box ready. Seriously. I hope it's a good t-shirt this year. Oh, you don't even know? This is a mystery? Yeah. They send you a coupon, and you have to take the coupon to the zoo. And then there you're like, I have a coupon. Where's my shirt? And like, here, get out of my face. And that's does, it. Does the shirt come in a package where you can't see what it is inside? No, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would definitely hold on to it and open it on, the, on camera. <laughs> it's definitely going to be animals with face masks on. No question. That would actually it. be pretty awesome. Welcome back to the zoo. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, welcome to the show, everybody. There was a lot of news actually recently, somehow. There was There's, or there wasn't? There was. We have a lot of stuff oh, okay. to talk about, I feel. Yeah. I was looking at this outline and I thought, there's yeah, some there's plenty. Here. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I have my follow-up from last week if, if we're interested in hearing it. Follow-up of what? I said I wasn't going to tell the story until things settled down and calm. Oh, everything's settled and calm now? Everything's a little settled. You saw the boy. Okay, okay, he, yeah. He didn't have a big bandage on his face anymore. Right, all right, well, go, well you should tell the story immediately. Uh, well, just because a lot of people asked. They wanted to know how I was doing because I was bummed I out last week. I said immediately. Okay. La- my, about <laughs> two weeks ago, my son slipped and fell in his room while climbing up to his bunk bed, and he split his chin open. And when I say split, I mean it opened up to the bone. I could see... The bony goodness? The bones in his face. And as soon as he moved the towel out of the way, because, you know, he just took paper towels and was covering it up, I didn't know until he moved the towel out of the way. Gross, gross, wait a minute. And, And when I saw it, I immediately burst into tears. Gross. And uh, my wife had Wait, my wife. What? We found something that makes one back cry. My, yes. My children in pain. Children and I in didn't pain know. In real life. It literally Your looked child, like, at least. It looked like a piece of his chin had fallen off. Like Ooh. it didn't look like it split. It like Two Face like from the good Batman, from the good Two Face. Sort Batman of. Because it was, yeah, yeah. Not Tommy Lee Jones. Because it was all bone. He's yeah. Very bony in that. Yes. And it was gross, and I screamed, and I said, we got to take him to the emergency room immediately. And my wife just put him in the car with a big ice pack, and she drove off, right, leaving me and Sabrina behind. Oh, wow. And, wow. And Your wife is because, awesome. Because she handles this much better than I do. She's I like, just... you're a mess. You're staying home. Wow. You clean up. I'm going. Call ahead. So I had to call the hospital when they went. Okay. They also, honestly, they in this day and age, the fewer parents that show up. Of to course, yes, answer, yes, the yes. happier they absolutely. are. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So we went, and she went. The plastic surgeon was super nice. Elliot was super calm. Once they once they put a bandage on it, he calmed down. Right. 
and Once you don't the have to nurse, look at it. Everybody yeah, calms down. Basically. And he had uh, 20 stitches, put it in his chin. Hey, did it look wow. like this at all? Yeah, kind of. The scene of the crime? Yeah. Uh, there, was so, there was literally blood in every room of the house. Uh, Sabrina, Sabrina actually like jumped right into action and cleaning up. Yeah, I give like her mom. so much credit. She did. She like her instincts, her, you know, instincts just kicked in on what do you do in an emergency? What do you do in this situation? And she started cleaning. I describe it. You see, have you ever seen John Wick? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You know the scene when the cleaning crew comes in? No. The guys in the black suits and the, the a lot of home. blood is what you're saying. Yeah, right, right. I, that was my I, house. Seen of John Wick, I, you could have said anything. Ever right. seen yeah. The whole Wick? thing is yes, blood. That's what it was like. So they patched him up. He got his twenty stitches. It's been two weeks. The bandages kind of, you know, bandages fall off after a while, and they're dissolvable stitches. Nice, good technology. It looks like he might have one stitch left, but for the most part, it's all just healed. Wow, no scar. Yeah, I mean, uh, he'll have a scar. Yeah. Like He'll Indiana have a scar Jones, right here under his chin, but it didn't just chin didn't fall off. It was just a split, which is good. He also lost a tooth, but it was a baby tooth. Right. And oh. what did he hit his chin on? Uh, well, here's the thing: he was he's not allowed to bring a laptop into bed with him. Uh oh. And he was bringing the laptop into his bed, oh, and he was fucker. trying to be sneaky about it. And the laptop is what split the chin. So you're saying he deserved it. Yes. No. But uh, but it was really awful. That's bad. I did cry. Yeah, of course. I'm and cry. I was worried for literally two weeks. I could not sleep for about four days after it happened. So it's rough. Well, I'm glad yeah, everything's OK now. Uh, everything seems fine. We're knock on something. I mean, we don't go back to see the plastic surgeon again until next Thursday. Right. Um, just to, for a follow up. Right. But. I mean, it looks much better. <laughs> he doesn't have bones sticking out of his face. So he, he doesn't have a better. coin that he flips when he wants to decide something. He does do that. Oh, but that might be a warning. Uh-huh. But uh, he's doing uh, he's doing all right. And at the day after the hospital, uh, he got to go to Target and go on a little mini shopping spree. So he was fine. Nice. All right. So the moral of the story is don't bring the laptop into bed. It's. Mm-hmm. Listen to your parents is the moral of the story. It, yeah, yeah, that's a, it's a good moral. I'm gonna tell. But yeah, he's doing he's doing a lot better. And Ty, it, you know um, what? Ty brings his laptop into bed, and I'm gonna. Yeah, but it's that. not a bunk bed. But, he's got to climb up into it. Like something could happen. Like yeah. if he was very clumsy, <laughs> extremely <laughs> clumsy. So and drunk. Mm-hmm. So you can't. Right. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad everybody. Laura did. apparently took a picture, and I won't look at it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, you don't, you don't but I could send it to you guys if you want to see the picture. I, I'm good. You I'm sure? Good on that one. There's I'm no good. doubt in my mind you would have passed flat out. Shit. Um, I no, I would have sprung into action on on that one. If it was me, if I knew my my chin was open, I know for a fact that I pass out. There <laughs> I've, I've done that. I know that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but me too. Yeah, if it was my kids, I I would not pass out. I'm. Yeah. I didn't pass out. I just was upset. I'll, right. I'll say that much. Sure. No, I would have. I would have run and taken care of it at the same time. Been been screaming for my wife, mm-hmm. but... who's a, a doctor. So you know that helps. Yeah, yeah. She <laughs> she would have grabbed the the kit and gotten something on there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's the story. Well, let's never speak of it again. <laughs> Rough. Yeah. Anything else going on? Everybody just. Sitting on their ass at home. How's yeah. the cabin, Chip? You've been back to the cabin? No, not since the last episode. I, right. I haven't. Are you going to have internet access there? Is that a goal or is that a uh, feature I, to not so have internet access? I have internet access. Well, I had internet access there because the previous owners had internet, but then this week they came and took the router because it was, it was a known thing. It was right, right. They, they were transferring it. So they came and got the router. And so now I've scheduled service. Good. So, Wombat doesn't like when you don't respond to his texts. That, that you can't be hard. responding two days later. That's just no, not, it doesn't work that way. It's not work. right. I'll, I'm. That's why I got it set up. That's the only reason I'm getting yeah. internet there. There's a lot I of that sent shit. You guys, to, to I sent you guys text. both a bunch of texts today that you didn't respond to, but that's okay. We'll talk. That's what I'm later. saying. A lot of the shit I just don't want to respond to, and you got to come in and take care of business. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I was probably working. 
is probably why I wasn't responding to your text today. I don't know about that. It's part that. of your job. You don't really realize it, but that's really actually yeah. part of your job. Uh, should we do some show feedback? Sure. There's a there was a lot of it. Okay. Thank you, everyone. We had a you know it was our fifteenth anniversary show, and a lot of people had very nice things to say. Like we he just said, I can't believe I've been listening to this nonsense for fifteen years. Nice. Here's to fifteen more. An apathy lad who said, "Congratulations on the fifteen years, guys." I wasn't here at the start, but I appreciate having something to listen to for my drive to school. Things sure have changed. Anyway, it's cool to see the CADCast still being around through all these years. Some internet friendships don't last that long. I still look forward to the CADCast, even though I'm not driving around as much these days. So, that's right. We are just internet friends. Uh, (laughs) Two Kings has to say, (laughs) you guys. Everybody's just internet friends now. That's right. true. We were ahead of the game there. Yeah. yeah. We Even it. me and my parents and I are just internet friends I, at course. this point. Of course. Yeah. Two Kings has to say, you guys have the worst taste <laughs> in every genre of media. I don't want most, to be lumped in with this. Most especially movies. Congrats on 15 years of having nonsense opinions that 99% <laughs> of people don't and won't have. I'm proud of that part. <laughs> Either, you know, what's interesting, because I know he's talking about the old guard. That movie has like an 86 on Rotten Tomatoes. I was fucking shocked. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Do you know, that's one of the movies, that's one of the weird movies where, like it's an action movie, where I believe the Rotten Tomatoes score is higher than the fan score. Is that accurate, Wombat? Are you... Oh, I don't know. I'm not I... looking at it now, but oh. I believe you. Also, I never said it was a great movie. I just said it was fun and stupid. There's a you difference. said it was fine. Yeah. It's not no. fine. I said it was fun and stupid. I gave it like a like a roll the tape. Hold on. Whatever doesn't matter. That movie is it fun and stupid. It was the best movie I ever <laughs> saw. Exactly. I, I want to re- see it again and again, like cats. Yeah, eighty-one percent from the critics and seventy-one percent from the audience, which is still pretty high. But I'm just saying, for an action movie, you usually it usually yeah. goes the other way. I know. So what does that tell you? Exactly. I'm correct. Thank you. Uh huh. I love the podcast, despite your horrible taste. Shipwreck, keep up the smug, rich dude persona. <laughs> that is persona? You. Smug, rich dude? Yep. He has oh. a second house. Uh, Chibi, so does Bernie Chibi, Sanders. Chibi, keep being an obtuse oddball that doesn't understand how calories work. And Wombat, keep being the most disinterested basic bitch you could be. <laughs> of course, I'm only half kidding. I love the banter. Keep it going, you sick fucks. Speaking of the calories reference, I uh-huh. uh, was on Twitter as I, I am a lot these days, and one of my one of these table tennis leagues, like professional table tennis leagues, tweeted out, "Hey, you can burn this many calories playing an hour of table tennis if you weigh 150 pounds," and it was shockingly low, <laughs> so <laughs> low. It was like it was like 250. It was, it was shockingly accurate. No, no, because there's no way. I mean, there's no way. <laughs> Meanwhile, the same fucking uh, Twitter account had a contest in April, like right when the pandemic was like, you know, fucking us. And they had a contest to make like whoever you made some stupid ping pong video and you could win a prize pack of some table tennis shit. And I won. I'm still waiting for my fucking prize from April. And what was the they, prize supposed to be? It was a solid gold pink. No, it was um, it was some bullshit. It was like a jersey. Solid gold penis? Is that what you were about to say? <laughs> it was a ping pong battle, obviously. Oh, I thought you said solid gold penis. Um, that's that's would be a great prize for you. The ping pong paddle for me. Um, it was supposed to be a like a jer- an autographed jersey from with like from all the stars of p- table tennis, uh-huh. and. <laughs> <laughs> And and wait, you would have to sign your own jersey? Listen to me. Listen to me. (laughs) Hold on one second. The problem was, like, they're telling and then they start telling me how great the prize pack is. I'm like, oh, and it was and it wasn't just a jersey. You got like table tennis uh, cards, collectible cards, which may or may not have been autographed. I can't remember. But wait, the the jersey you buy table tennis cards? This they play they're in Singapore, okay? So Asia table tennis is popular. This this league do people is, buy like these are like wax packs of 
table tennis? Courts? I don't. It's a, okay. You will be receiving. Ooh, excuse me. You'll be. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. You'll be. Rece- I'm all excited about it. You'll be receiving T. Okay, the name of the league is called T2. They have like the best production of any table tennis tournament. It looks really nice if you look it up on Arguably YouTube. Arguably the best Terminator. <laughs> and right, and that. T2 collectible cards and an autographed T2 diamond 2019 jersey. And I was very excited for that. And that was on April 10th or some shit. And I'm like, and I keep me emailing them. Oh, you'll send it. Now they don't even respond to my shit. And I'm like, who's following them that even is, has, I'm like a C minus Twitter celebrity. And I'm probably their highest, their most famous follower. Except maybe Judah Friedlander if he follows them. Because no probably one... still getting all the signatures. <laughs> oh, is that what they're doing? They stopped writing me back, though. They don't even make excuses anymore. They're First... just shipping around that jersey to all the top table tennis stars. Oh, is that? Oh, they better be. Fucking Timo Bowl better deliver that shit to my house. No, no one's going to get that reference. No, no one is. <laughs> he's, a, he's a German table tennis star. Good for him. Yeah. He's one of the few good. Oh, ladies. he was in Rockstar Table Tennis. I remember that guy. He, he was pretty he, tough. He was not. Oh. They don't have any real players in there. Those are the realest ones. I would I would take a a jersey signed by the eight players or so that were in Rockstar's table tennis. <laughs> that was still one of the best events I've ever been to. Oh, the you went to one of those? T- yeah. I went to the one in Tokyo. I went to the one in New York where they had everyone playing on couches and beds. Yeah, that's what we did in Tokyo. Shake Shack. We didn't have Shake Shack. Oh, they brought in Shake Shack. It was literally the most Shake Shack I've ever seen in one place. And it was really good. And we played ten- table tennis all afternoon and ate cheeseburgers. That's pretty good. Did it you play actual good. table tennis? Uh, I played the video game table tennis because that's why I was there. Was Wally Green there? I don't know. He was the motion capture guy. Oh. But he was a, He's an African-American. Okay. I met him and I hung out with him in Tokyo at, at, at the event. It probably sure wasn't, maybe it was at this around the same time. So probably he wasn't, they probably weren't flying him around. Mm-hmm. We played table tennis after the event. We went to a club. Cool. And he was really good. That doesn't surprise me. All right, well, there's a video on my YouTube channel, probably on a really it, like old I remember that. Japanese cell phone. Um, is that it for the show feedback? I had one more, but I could skip it. No, I don't want to skip it. I want All right, people to King see how Rock. great we are. King Rockin' LR says, always enjoy your show and the perfect balance of that's exactly how I feel versus these dudes are clueless <laughs> I get from you each week. You have just to like, get that. Just like I do for my friends in real life. Yeah. Cheers to 15 more years of hot takes. Love you guys. That is a good one to, uh, to, end, on. to end on. I mean, I listen to how, I've been listening to Howard Stern since I was in high school. And I don't agree with him on everything. I especially his movie tastes. His movie tastes are horrible, but I still enjoy his show and still listen to it. I think you, when you reach, and I think Cheapy will disagree with me, but I'll say it anyway. <laughs> Perfect. I, I think when you reach a certain age, there's a level of film watching where you just don't want to watch it anymore. Like I went through my phase of watching movies that would be considered art. From like the age of 15 to maybe even like 28, where I didn't watch anything that would be considered frivolous. Oh, why would you do that? I don't know. Because I thought I was self-important and I was smug. And now that I'm older and I don't care anymore, I do admittedly watch mostly garbage because I don't want to think that much when I'm. Movies are so good now. I guess. But I wouldn't even know where to begin with good movies. I mean, I talk about them every week, and then you just... No, you talk about cheapy movies, and those are not good movies. Don't worry. Old Guard is having a sequel. It should be out in two years. I know. I can't wait. Old Guard 2. <laughs> the <laughs> oldening. Tell me my video wasn't amazing. I Did was you... glad that you made a video. I say I made you a video. I thought it would make you laugh. Did you tweet that out? I did. You did okay. not like it? I don't... I'm tweeting? not glued to the fucking Twitter or my... I mean, I am, but not as much as I you, say, apparently. I A, that's a lie, and B, that's a lie, and C, that's rude. I mean, if we looked at our phone hours, we could just call them up, and we could easily find out. I Mine are really high, and I, I would be embarrassed, but I feel like yours would be even higher. I don't know. I could take a look. They might be. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's too depressing to even to go there. I don't know. Shipwreck's busy. He can't be looking at his phone all the time. But I also, I mean, I'm on computers, so it's right. I've got multiple computers going at the same time, so right. 
there's not really a, a need for the phone during the day. My my phone says I spent an hour and twenty minutes on social networking applications. No, you need the week the weekly thing report. You know, every week it gives you that report. Yeah, I know. It says your shit is up or down. And Twitter is definitely my most used app. <laughs>